Hello everybody, how's it going? Trem here. Hope you're all doing well. Oh, today on a uh, GSXR 750 with a carbon fiber swing arm. Uh, sorry, rear mug guard. Uh, and a Yoshimura exhaust. Which is very nice. So we're going to get going. I'll give you guys a better look in a bit. Uh, very excited because I've actually thought about one of these myself. In the long run. sound is incredible it's very different to my 600 though that's that's not to be uh, that obviously that might be obvious to some people but to me it's very different so uh, we'll see how we go I'll see if I have time to do cinematic shots today I might not you'll obviously already know if I have but I've only got like an hour on it so so seat in position um, it's actually really nice <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's actually really nice. Um, my back end is quite far up, uh, but the bars aren't too low down. It's very street friendly. Um, mirrors are absolutely fantastic. You can see everything in them. Um, this is my first time riding a GSXR, so obviously just got to cough at 750, aren't you? It sounds really weird when you get going because it sounds so beefy. Uh, it's a really long bike. Um, let's see how she accelerates. Oh wow! Oh wow! So you're on 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 the move. I mean, holy crap! It is as light as a 600. It is as light, if not lighter, than my CVR. That is madness. That is absolutely crazy. Obviously, obviously, I'm gonna have to see how fast it goes. Ah. Um, but yeah, I'm in, I'm in gear four at the minute actually, so that, that's me just being economic there. Let's take it into second and see how fast we can go in second gear. Jesus Christ, that can't be right. It's in kilometers, I was gonna say. How do I change that? Past seven grand, this thing is an animal. I am really, I'm going to apologise in advance, if you can't hear that sound, you know, you are missing out. That's got some serious roar to it. That's still got baffles and I'm pretty sure as well. See how she handles on a corner. Oh yeah. You can actually feel the weight difference a little bit more on the corner. That must be like my trip. Trip two, trip one. Right, let's have the time up because that looked quite handy. Time's there. Uh, is it really only in kilometres? That that would suck so hard. What do these do? Oh, they're just manual. They're manual. Uh, hold it down. No. Hold it down. <laughs> no. Oh man. Oh, that, that sound. Though. So the dashboard display is really nice, apart from the kilometres an hour, which I'm sure you can change. But it's not very obvious how to do so. Um, so today I don't really know what speed I'm going to be going. But I know that 120 kilometers an hour is the equivalent to about 70 miles an hour. Um, so that's that's handy to know, right? That that snappy set wind on sound is just something else. It really is just something else that. So this particular one, because it is not a brand new GSXR, has about 5,000 miles on it. 
Uh, it has Oxford heated grips on it. Um, the seat is aftermarket, but ridiculously comfortable. The throttle response is on point, to say the least. That is like no lag at all. A lot of bikes nowadays, for some reason, they try and make everything smaller. Um, and on a bike when you're in gloves, that sometimes makes stuff harder to find. Suzuki on the GSXR 750 uh, have done something a bit different. They've kind of made everything bigger, so that when you go up here in the cave, it's a big numb switch you can't miss. So it's kind of really good for that. Um, not only that, but this is uh, the 2015 GSXR, um, just in case anybody is wondering. My favourite model, personally, is the 2009. Um, yeah, that's my favourite. The clutch is super light, like, ridiculously. It's just like all the new bikes, basically. Um, Featherlight clutch. I don't know if that. I don't know what that's actually called. It's not a. It might be a slipper clutch, actually. Uh, definitely feels like it's got something of that nature. <laughs> I want to see if it power wheelies. This is some of the matters to me. It revs to 16k like. Um, for a start, in first gear, revving the shit out of it, it won't even power wheelie. Like, it's trying, but it won't. Um, my CVR will. Um, so, I don't know, like, it's a mint bike with, with no, no question at all, it's a fantastic bike. Uh, and I probably would buy one because it's just, the engine note is so much raspier than the Hondas. Um, not only that, but it's just as light as a 600. Um, and it, it has got more power, you know it's got more power. The thing that I'm questioning is, if you are going to sell your bike, probably make a little bit of a loss on it because you're selling it. Um, and then fork more money out for a new bike, say that might be another 700 quid for a new one, one of these. What are you getting for that extra money? The, uh, the headlight is pretty ugly. Uh, I like the paint scheme on this one though. It's nice. Uh, like I say, I think, I can't really tell, but I think it's 2015. Yoshimura R11. Exhaust with a carbon fibre rear hug and mug guard. It's got fluorescent yellow rim tape, which looks lovely. This fake carbon fibre, and you can quite clearly tell that it's fake. Like, I know it's not real on my CBR on the yoke and stuff, but you can just tell that's not even carbon fibre. It doesn't even look like it, especially all this here. Like, it's, it's blatantly fake, and it just ruins it. You know, it doesn't even have a, a nice shimmer to it. It's just like flat carbon fibre. It looks awful, if you ask me. Um, seat. Seat's wonderful. Aftermarket seat. Um, rear sets are black. I'm not sure if they are painted or what. This is the thing that I do like about Jixxers, though, is the integrated indicators. It looks nice. It cleans up the back end. It looks ace. Um... Going from a tank point of view and a sit point of view, the bike feels really small when you're riding it. It doesn't feel big, uh, which is good for when you're throwing it into corners. It feels exactly the same size. It feels like I'm riding a CVR 600. Uh, it feels like I'm riding a GSX-R 600. Uh, so that's good. But, um, yeah, let's let's take some stuff. These are these shitty Chinese levers I want about. I mean, look at them. They're just... They're fucking god-awful. Just out of e If I was the dealership, I would have just been, like, gone over this bike and gone... We're getting OEMs because they're better. You'll see, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, it should do. That sparkle in the paintwork is just glorious. I saw an M209 had it once and I was just like, I need that in my life. Oh my god! <laughs> it 
it's just such a shame about all that carbon fibre. Like, they could have made that look so much better. You can make fake carbon fibre look decent. I like the look of it on my CVR, hence I kept it on the yokes and I put one over my fuel cap. But it just looked plastic. It looks like, it just looks so fake. And uh, especially since they've plastered it all over the back end. For me, ugh, it doesn't do now. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ, that sounds good. Sounds like a fucking dog barking. This has my name written all over at this point. This has my name written all over it. I was, I was, I jumped on this and I rode it exactly the same as if I was riding my bike. And that's why it wasn't working for me. And now I've gone the way back and I've started to analyse it a bit. I was crunched up against the tank like that. I'm sitting back a bit which feels so much better and um, when you get it to about you have to rev it I normally rev mine to about six grand I'm gonna rev this one till about seven and that's when she takes off I'd buy one of these just for the sound man the sound is alone is just phenomenal Shit ton of Taurus out today. But yeah, overall, I, I reckon that must equate roughly to about a 7 or 8 out of 10. Which is roughly what I rate my CVR 600 at. Oh, I got a wave. Jesus, that's unusual. Actually, I, I'd probably... Uh, I'd be... If the front end wasn't so ugly and it wasn't plastered in that carbon fibre shite, uh, I'd probably give it even. I'd probably give it a nine out of ten because of that paintwork. That pa that metallic paintwork is just unreal. But unfortunately, them two factors ruined that for me. So, as you do. This has been one of my dream bikes though for a long time. Like the K9 and the K8 GSXR 750 are my one of my all-time bikes. I've wanted one since the day that I first got my moped it was that bike that I saw going past and it changed me I was just like I'll tell you what actually funny story before I even got a moped I must have only been about 14 years old I was in the van uh, I used to do like a couple of days a week with my dad helping him at work when I was just like in just leaving school and uh, actually no it must have been when I was at school I used to do a couple of weekends now and then um, and I came up to some traffic lights in the centre of York and there was a white K9 GSXR 750 and a guy in full leathered up and he had an exhaust similar to this it was fucking nice sounding and that, that was it for me that was the bike where I was mesmerised and it stayed with me till this day like nearly 10 years on I'm still like mesmerized by that white GSXR. And the fact that I could actually go out and buy one now and own one myself is a really nice feeling. So if I do end up buying a GSXR 750 in the next couple of years, it will either be a gloss black or more likely a white one. The only problem with the white ones is they are more expensive for some reason. I think they're like a limited color. But uh, yeah, it's, it's an awesome bike. I, I, I feel like I should own one. Just to say, I've had a CBR 600 and a Jixxer 750, you know. Everyone is always raving about the Jixxer 750, like it's a great bike and it is, it's awesome, like. But this has been the GSXR 750, she's going home now. Thank you all for tuning in, hope you've enjoyed the first ride, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later. Bye.